when Scott Fobble crossed the finish line at the Boston Marathon on Monday, clocking in at 2 hours, 8 minutes and 52 seconds to become the fastest American in the race. He was wearing a Lululemon singlet tank that he bought himself, no sponsorship. Fobble, touted by Lululemon CEO Calvin McDonald at the company's analyst Sam Wednesday, is just one of the men the company has attracted in recent years overcoming skepticism that its reputation for selling yoga pants to women would prevent it from resonating with a male audience. It seems that plenty of men are wearing Lululemon these days, whether they're running marathons or walking the dog. The company now generates one-third of its $6 billion plus in revenue from its men's business, which grew 61% last year eclipsing the 37% growth from its women's business. It figures there are more men out there who Lululemon can turn into customers. The company said Wednesday that it plans to double the size of its men's business to over $3 billion in revenue by 2026, after completing its previous growth target two years early. If it can do so, that would make the men's business bigger than the entire women's business was in 2020, said McDonald. Since launching its men's business in 2014, the gateway to the brand for many men has been a pair of ABC pants, which stands for anti-ball crushing and purportedly uses an ergonomic gusset to remove tension from the crotch of the pants. It retails for $128. Our ABC Panda is a good example of how we acquire a lot of male guests to the brand, Sun Show, Lululemon's chief product officer, said Wednesday.